The entrance of God's word gives light and it brings understanding to the simple. Even as you're about listening to this message by the man of God, we hope that the light of God's word will be shed abroad in your heart. You will know what to do and you will know how to live. And so if you're new to this channel, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this message. Also go to the comment section and comment whatever you have learned. Share this message abroad because we won't always be a blessing to the world. Thank you. John 14, 12 and 13. Read for me, girl. John 14, 12 and 13. As I wrap up this class. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do because I go unto my father. Because I go to my father. Look at verse 13. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. I will do it. How will he do it in absence? He is not talking about absence. He is talking about the Father being glorified in. That's a presence. So when he says, in my name, in my name, a name can either mean a title, a position, a label, or an accomplishment. A name can either mean a title, a position, a label, or an accomplishment. In whatever you shall ask the Father in my name. In my name, they shall speak with new tongues. A name is a title, a position, a label, or an accomplishment. But in these scriptures, the name of Jesus is an accomplishment. That he raised him from the dead and he seated at the right hand of the Father... But now he is in us. So when you say in my name, what you're saying is in my authority or in my position. In my position. In my name. In my authority. And today... The name of Jesus belongs to us. Glory to God. Say with me very loud. The name of Jesus belongs to me right now. I am in the name. And the name is my name. I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. In my name. In my accomplishments, you shall cast out devils. In my accomplishments, you shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. In my accomplishments, you shall speak with new tongues. Not in my label, J-E-S-U-S, -S, but in my accomplishments. So demons make noise, out now. Thank you, Jesus. They will go out because you are speaking in his accomplishments. Having spoiled principalities and powers. He made a show of you triumphing over them in it. Through death, he destroyed him that had the power of death. And delivered them who all their lifetime were subject to bondage. How? Through the fear of death. The fear of death is the major fear in life. But you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry. Say with me, no fear here. Say, I'm not afraid. Fear does not operate in my environment. Stand on your feet and turn to your neighbor. Say, no fear here. Tell your neighbor, fear not. One of the greatest weapons that the devil uses on believers is fear. 
and fear has torment. He makes you afraid of tomorrow. Listen to me, everybody, look at me. He makes you afraid of embarrassment. Then as long as you are afraid of embarrassment, he tortures you with the threat of embarrassment. He tortures you. He bombards your mind. And you are there shaking, panicking. You are tortured. Your blood pressure is going up. And he's threatening you with fear. And then circumstances begin to intimidate you. As if yes, yes. That's the time to remember you are in the name. You are in the name. In the name of Jesus. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Though the mountains be removed and the hills depart, yet your covenant of peace shall never depart from you. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of evil tidings. My heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. So when the devil is threatening you, you rise above the threat and remind yourself what he has said. He has said that I may boldly say the Lord is my helper. I shall not be afraid what man can do to me. No fear here. Who am I talking to here? Say with me, no fear. Say, I have not received the spirit of fear. I have received the spirit of adoption. I cry, Abba, Father. No fear here. We are not producing a people of fear. We are producing people of power. A people of strength. And a people of might. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Lift your two hands and give him thanks for another 30 seconds. Just open your mouth and give him thanks. Just begin to thank him for what he has done in you. Begin to thank him for the life he has given to you. Begin to thank him for the work of the Holy Spirit. Begin to thank him that you are accepted in the beloved, accepted in Christ, accepted, 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 accepted. Begin to praise him. We are so grateful for having you here on our platform. Kindly hit the subscribe button if you are new here. And also like this message for us. Do well to comment in the comment section because we want to know what you learned and where you're watching us from. Thank you, message community.